Hey YouTube and welcome back to my beginner's guide to Dark Souls. So uh, we're back at Firelink, you can see obviously. Uh, I just warped back here. Uh, I'm going to use my souls to, uh, all my soul items I've got so far to uh, level up here. Because uh, we don't really need to increase our armor anymore. So uh, I figured out something, I'm going to put this in an annotation on my the video that was on, but uh, the reason why I couldn't have this firekeeper kindle this up to 20, why I had to do it myself, uh, actually what you have to do is go offer one of the lord souls, uh, like a lord soul, to the uh, to the lord vessel, you can do that by going to talk to Frampt and he'll, uh, he'll take you back down there, and uh, <clears throat> use that, uh, after you do that you can go talk to the firekeeper and then she'll do that for you, so you gotta do that first. So I have a whole crap ton of souls, so I'll level up here, I'll put my damage up, Uh, hell, let's get our damage up to 35, yeah. Why not? Alright, cool. So we're pretty high level. Uh, and it's pretty awesome that you can get high level without even... Like, we're only... We're not even... Well, we're... Well, more than... Only more than halfway. Like, we're not in the last uh, quarter of the game even, and we still uh, we're, you know, pretty high level. So, uh, yeah, you can go talk to Framtier, and he'll, uh, he'll take you to the, uh, Firelink Altar. But, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to, uh... Somewhere we haven't been in a while, we're gonna head back to Enerlondo. And uh, where you're gonna wanna warp to is the Dark Moon Tomb. Uh, if you don't have the Dark Moon Tomb warp, it's the uh, one below the spiral stairs. Alright, so we're back in uh, at the Dark Moon Tomb. Uh, like I said, it's at the bottom of the uh, spiral stairs, the spinning one. So, uh, you know, you just go back down, you turn it all the way to its bottom most position, and you come to the bottom. So, uh, when you come in here, rest of the bonfire, make sure you do that. Uh, you can kindle up to whoever you want. I'm not going to since uh, I still have 20 from Firelink. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you might remember the uh, the Dark Moon Seance Ring. We got it in the catacombs. Uh, put it on right now. I said it did something in another area. Uh, this is what I mean. Go ahead and throw that on. And now what that does is it causes this wall to disappear permanently. Uh, so after it does that, you can actually take it off. So you can take it back off. So the wall's gone, and uh, you'll see there's a fog gate down here. But uh, this is no ordinary fog gate. Uh, when you approach it, something different happens. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and kneel. <coughs> oh, disciple of the Dark Sun. Thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shalt protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the Dark Moon. Alright, so uh, this is the D Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. This covenant allows you to invade guilty players of uh, equal or lower level than you and kill them for uh, souvenirs of reprisal. Uh, so the person offering this is the Dark Sun Gwyndolin. He is, of course, as you can tell from his dialogue, he is the son of Gwyn and therefore a god. Uh, I just showed you guys where the covenant is. I'm not going to join it, so I uh, know. Very well. We shall not need speech. Exit here and follow thine own design. So, uh... If you are in the Covenant, do not do this, but since we're not, and if you're not in the Covenant, uh, we're going to go ahead and walk through the Fog Gate. What foolishness! Why trespasseth upon the Great Lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the Dark Sun? Mark the words of mine self. Gwyndolin, thou shalt not go unpunished. Alright, we are fighting the Dark Sun Gwyndolin. Uh, this fight is not like any other fight in the game. It is a pure range fight. Uh, you cannot be up and meleeing him. He will not melee you. He does all range attacks. He does three different attacks. He does that attack there where he shoots a uh, large glowing beam. It can't be... Uh, blocked or anything, so the best way to do it is to roll in and out of it like I do, I'm do. i doing there. Uh, then he shoots these like arcane missiles, uh, hide behind a platform like that, or a platform uh, pillar. Uh, he also does this uh, bow attack where he shoots a bunch of arrows at once, and uh, you can kind of zigzag around that. 
And uh, the basic uh, strategy in this boss is to try to get up close to him and get a few hits in on before he disappears. Uh, you can see here, uh, the pillars will not block the giant uh, blue orb, so you can't hide behind the pillars. Uh, but you can, of course, hide when he does the, these, this attack here. Uh, most of his attacks look different, so if you stare at him, uh, you can tell which attack he's doing. Um, the attack where he raises his uh, when he raises his thing above his head, uh, he's shooting the arcane missiles. Uh, when he does a little blue orb in front of him, uh, he's about to shoot the big ball. And when he rises up into the air, he's about to start shooting his bow like that. So uh, knowing his tells and seeing what he's doing uh, can make this fight super easy. Uh, you know, you can always know what he's doing. It can never surprise you. Like there's the missiles. Uh, is he going to go for another missiles? No, he's going for his bow. So you can just uh, zigzag in here and uh, get a few hits in on him. You can also hit him sometimes when he's disappearing. There, see, I got uh, an extra hit in on him. So uh, you're only going to need about two more hits to get him. So uh, there's the blue ball. You can see the tail's a bit different. There's a little blue orb in front of him for a few seconds. There's another one. And uh, there's another one here. I do think he disappears here and I don't get a hit. I got one hit, but I missed the last one. Yep, so uh, just keep going. I do believe this hallway goes on forever. Um, I heard the rumor that it does end eventually, but I don't know. I've never been to the end. I'm pretty sure at this time I eat, uh, yeah, I ate all the arrows to the face at once and I managed to live through it, so pretty funny there. Oh, heretic, swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. Alright, so we've defeated the Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Uh, <clears throat> we get the Soul of Gwendolyn, pretty cool. Uh, it's used at the Giant Blacksmith to upgrade uh, into a boss weapon. He can make, I think, three different weapons. It's pretty cool. Two or three different weapons. So, uh, head on past where he was. Don't uh, leave her anything, because uh, there's some cool stuff. Sorry if I'm a little scratchy this episode. My voice is uh, feeling a little funny this morning. <coughs> Alright, so uh, open this chest. It's a very important chest. Uh, you'll get the Miracle Sunlight Blade. Uh, it requires 30 faith to use this, and uh, it's one of the most powerful miracles there is. It uh, adds lightning damage. It's like a gold pine resin on steroids. It uh, adds a whole huge amount of uh, lightning damage to your weapon. Uh, the amount is based on your magic adjust and therefore based on your uh, amount of faith. So uh, we won't be able to use it, but if you're a faith build, that's one of the best th uh, best miracles you can use for sure. So uh, if you open this chest, I don't think there's anything in it. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that chest. Most of the time there's nothing in it. I don't know uh, what's supposed to be in it. I've never had anything be in it. And if you come in here, you'll pick up the brass set. This is the set that the uh, Anor Londo Firekeeper wears. It's a pretty cool set. It's I don't know if there's anything special about it. I've never used it or seen anyone really using it uh, out of cosplay. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's nothing else around here. So uh, after this, uh, go ahead and homer bone. Uh, do whatever you need to do. Uh, but what I'm going to do is head back up to the uh, fireplace up top. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, so we're back at the bonfire. Well, not back at the bonfire, but back at the bonfire area, and uh, turn the platform down here. So what you're going to want to do is head back up the platform, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to need to go inside the painting guardian room again. We haven't been in there in a long time. Because if, uh, if you guys remembered, we picked up uh, an item back at the asylum, the peculiar doll, and uh, it had something about a painted world, so uh, we're going to go see what that painting it has anything to do with that. So uh, run in there and get hit in the face with an arrow, or a knife. Uh, you can easily run past the ones on the uh, left there, or right there, if you uh, run close enough to the wall. I managed to pull one though. But that's okay. So uh, head on over to this guy. Uh, if you guys didn't come here before, the uh, Black Iron set and the Black Iron Great Sword would have been there. Very nice when you're invincible, that, uh, or when you're backstabbing, that you are invincible. Yeah, the guys are quite annoying. Are you gonna stop? 
Can you not? Come on. Alright. So, head on over to this uh, painting. And if I remember before, it said uh, locked by some contraction, but now we can examine. But of course, this guy wants to fuck with us. Alright. So, we're, uh, we're going to examine this. Well, we're in the uh, painted world of Ariamis, as you can see. We've been uh, sucked into the painted world. So, uh, the thing about when you come here is you can't leave here until you've completed the area. That's why I said uh, make sure you've done everything you want to do for right now. Uh, yeah, you cannot leave here until it's done. So, uh, heading over this bridge, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can't fall through that hole. But uh, I always jump over there just to make sure. So, uh, heading up these long stairs, and uh, you'll come to the first bonfire in this area. Apparently there's a red sign here for someone wants to duel. You may be invaded here. It is uh, somewhat of a common invasion area. I usually get invaded in here at least once. So uh, we're going to kindle this fire up to max. Pretty sure we're going to need to pop a humanity. So we'll just pop that one. And get this fire up to max. So I guess we'll level up once, since we can. Uh, uh, I'll get my decks up to 36. Cool. Alright, so uh, head on up here. <clears throat> there you can see there's a familiar enemy, just some more hollows. Standard bait and attack. Pretty sure they, uh, yeah, they just go down in one hit. Oh, shit. Yep, so they're just normal hollows. Nothing's changed. Except I seem to be, you know, not judging the distance of Lucerne very well. I always miss that strong attack. Kind of sucks. Oh well, so uh, head on up here. Uh, you come up here, there's a guy shooting arrows, just uh, block him, so you can easily take him out. Uh, there's another guy shooting arrows up there, and these hollows will rush you, so just uh, block him, lead him to the stairs, and away from the arrow guy. And then, uh, run up and get him with a running attack, or, nope, no running attack that time. So, uh, you'll see up there, there's a new kind of hollow, there is, uh, these are poison shooting giant bulbous headed things uh, they will toxify you when you kill them up close uh, unless you kill them with fire then they do not so unfortunately I'm probably gonna get toxified so I guess if you hit them at a distance and kinda roll away you won't but I think that's just probably because Lucerne's long enough if you're using like a great sword or uh, a short sword or anything of kinda close range weapon you'll probably end up getting uh, getting toxic kinda sucks it's not as bad as the Toxic in Blight Town, but it's still kind of shitty. Uh, and they also shoot fire at a distance, you can see there. There. Avoid being toxic. That's oh, shit. Yep, uh, grab this. I do believe it's Proud Knight. Yep, Proud Knight Soul. So, uh, top off our health. Uh, the Painted World has a lot of hidden little items, so I'll try to get as many as I can. I do know where most of them are. Uh, I do believe there's uh, one in this house. We'll grab. Yeah, come down here. There's uh, rats down here. They're just white rats. It's the uh, only difference. They're albino rats, I suppose. So we got a humanity from that one. Pretty cool. Yeah, bounce off the wall. Bounce off the wall again. You know what? If you were the partisan, you wouldn't do that. Sure. 
Anyway, grab this side. It's a brave warrior soul. Very nice. And now we're going to go grab a hidden item that I almost forgot. Uh, it's a very useful item. It's an item that most people never find. Uh, most people don't find this way, actually. They never know that you can go over in this corner, actually. And uh, you uh, go up here, and there's an item that a lot of people talk about and don't know what it does, or uh, just people don't even know it exists. But uh, I'll show you guys where to get it. Alright. So, uh, if you look over there, you can see there's a weird kind of creature. Those are like, they're kind of har pretty much your harpies. And I'm pretty sure a bunch of them aggro over here when you walk up here. You can see there's some up there that too. So, uh, grab this. It's a soul of a proud knight. Alright. I don't like any of aggro. Yeah, see, there's one there. Oh, shit. Yeah, here they come. So, these guys are actually really annoying. They have a grab attack. It's very painful. And they are very painful in general. But uh, you can stagger lock them usually, try to keep them separated. Just watch out. Oh, look, there it is. And I'm gonna spam these buttons and hope it does. Doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to work on that attack. So I'm gonna get away from this bitch and heal. Yeah, you can see they are quite dangerous. Probably the most dangerous enemy in the painted world. Well, actually, now I pulled my tongue. There's some other horrors in the painted world. So, uh, yeah, take them out. Uh, they give a nice amount of souls, though. Uh, drop down here. You can see there's an item down there. And uh, you'll grab the dried finger. What the dried finger does is, uh, it doesn't sound good to most people, but what it does is it increase or decreases the time between invasions. So, uh, like, more people will invade you if you use this item constantly. But, uh, like most people are saying, why the hell would you want that? Well, if you're uh, at a PvP level and, you know, you're looking for battles, it's a good thing to have to, uh, you know, have more. It's pretty much a very desired item. So, uh, be sure to pick it up. So, uh, head over here, you can see there's a bunch of items all over the place. We'll grab them. Uh, we're gonna take out this archer first. Your running attack there. Uh, two of these guys come up here. Kill them with a strong attack. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of be more of those toxic dudes in this room. This guy comes up. So we're just going to kill him in the doorway here. There. So it's pretty useful. Yeah, you can you can roll away quickly if you have a weapon that has a fast enough uh, recovery time. And uh, I guess halberds, when you do connect to something, have a fast recovery time. Alright, probably gonna get toxic here because there's two of them. Alright, I wanna get out of here. I don't like this. Alright, so getting out of here. Don't wanna die. That guy fell down there. Uh, I can see there's another one over there, so I'm gonna watch out for him. Shit. So the fire is uh, pretty easy to dodge, it's really slow. I just rolled right through it there. Yeah, see I'm toxic now. There's a regular hollow here. See the toxic isn't as bad as the one in Blight Town, but uh, I do think I have blooming purple moss, yeah, so I'm good. Alright. So, head on out here. And uh, you'll see this string with an item on it. Uh, just give it a snack. And uh, it'll fall down there. Uh, you can grab it later now, so don't worry. <clears throat> we'll get it eventually. And uh, head on up here. I do think we can get an item up here. Uh, do, do, do. No. No, we can't. So, yeah, don't come up here, actually. Uh, head out here. There's an item over here. Uh, some hollows climb up the side here. Uh, just, yeah, just one hollow. So, uh, when you head down here, uh, there's no enemies, but there's some items on this bridge, and there's a strange creature over there. Uh, when you get close to these, actually, when you get right out here, it'll start moving. Uh, if you run quickly, you can grab all the items and get away, which I'm going to do. Uh, there's a Proud Knight Soul and a Blood Shield. Uh, the Blood Shield is a pretty good shield. It's only mainly used for PvP. It increases your lead poison and toxic resistance, which is 
pretty desirable for PvP. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good shield. So, uh, we're gonna fight this uh, undead dragon sort. I'll show you guys how. Uh, they shoot this uh, purple goo forward. It uh, depletes your durability. Uh, you can What you want to do to kill them is uh, bait this attack like this. See, it shoots... Uh, you can kind of divide his attacks into three uh, things with the uh, markers here. There's his head, and his two feet, or his two paws, hands, claws, things. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you try to bait the front attack. We'll bait one more. Uh, that actually depletes durability and does poison there, so i got to watch out. And once he does the attack, you run, and you attack his hand. And then you get away when he does that attack, and you pretty much rinse and repeat. You just run, attack his hand. Uh, also, he can spew it that way. Uh, what you can also do if you're feeling bold is run up and attack his head. It does do more damage, and uh, it will cause him to do that attack instead. So just uh, keep baiting his attack and running away. Uh, it's fairly easy. It's a hit and run kind of enemy. Oh shit! I'm saying the other way. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have my armor break on me. Anyway. Yeah, for a second. He has fallen. Gives a nice amount of souls and uh, he does not respawn. So it's pretty nice. And uh, he does drop a dragon scale. So if, uh, if you go over here, uh, you'll find the... Uh, this is actually the back half of him. It's kind of weird. Uh, what you gotta do is you come over to this thing and you can't get past it. You can notice it's moving. It doesn't aggro or anything. You don't fight it. Uh, what you wanna do is do a jump attack on it. So I'll do an attack. And it causes it to stand up, and you'll notice it's actually one of those dragon butts from the. Uh, that's why I call them dragon asses because it's his back half. Uh, in the in Lost Isolith, you'll see it's one of those. Uh, you don't have to fight it; it doesn't can't do damage to us. I think. And it just kind of stands there. Uh, this leads to a shortcut to the boss, but we're not going to take it. So you can easily do the painted world quickly. You can just kill that guy and skip that. But uh, we got some other stuff to do before we go there. So, heading on back here, uh, we're going to go deeper into the Painted World, so we'll head this way. Painted World does take long for a lot of people, but if, uh, if you know where you're going, it doesn't take very long. There's just a lot of hidden stuff. Hope I'll grab most of it. There's one area that's kind of annoying to find everything, but I'll try to find it. So, uh, come on down here and you'll find a fog gate. So, uh, we're going to go through it. So there's no boss on the side of this fog gate, but there is this thing. Uh, these are, well, apparently it's a boss from Demon Souls or something, but it's the Phalanxes. Uh, they haven't aggroed yet, but um, they just basically stand like that and they throw spears at you. Uh, they're super easy to kill. You just run into the middle of them and do like a, an attack with your weapon that hits a lot of things. Uh, Halberd's actually perfect because it has that spinning twirl two-handed, uh, and you'll take out most of them. They move really slowly, and they don't even turn very fast. You'll see. Here we go. See, they seem menacing, but you just kind of run where there's no shields, and you do that. You take out a whole bunch of them. They actually drop. This is the best way to farm souls, uh, other than PvP or co-op. It's killing these guys. You put the covetous gold serpent or silver serpent ring on, and you just come and kill these guys. Uh, they give a good amount of souls, they're super easy to kill, and they respawn, of course. But uh, I'm just going to kill them now, they give a nice amount of souls, and they're kind of annoying at a distance because they just throw spears at you and they actually kind of hurt from a distance. So yeah, kill them. And uh, come over here and open this gate. And uh, this gate actually leads back to the bonfire. So if you notice, uh, we're at the bonfire where those two hollows were, at the, well, three hollows were at the front, and uh, this is the gate here, so we have a huge shortcut now, but uh, I'm not going to rest the bonfire. We're going to head over here to this crazy area where there's a bunch of hollows on pikes. I always attack when they jump. I need to work out. I didn't even know that guy was there. 
But anyway, uh, those guys are dead. This place has tons of hollows, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, head down here, there's some items we're gonna grab. I don't think they're very important items. Uh, it's a Proud Knight Soul. Another Proud Knight Soul. Alright, come on. Alright, so we've been invaded. This is uh, another NPC invasion. This is the Dark Spirit King Jeremiah. He's a pretty funny invader. You can see him right there. He has a hilarious hat. Uh, it's just a big beehive kind of thing. Uh, he's actually kind of dangerous. He's not very... He doesn't have a lot of health, but he does do a lot of damage. He shoots pyromancy and has a whip. So, yeah, there. He's going for Fire Tempest. Trying to Chaos Storm yet again. I keep... I don't think any NPC uses Fire Tempest in this game yet. Actually, that's a tactic that a lot of people use in uh, PvP. They hide behind uh, doors using Fire Tempest, so then uh, you walk around the door and get messed up. So, yeah, he's down already. Whips barely do any damage, and they don't stagger, so he had no hope without his fire. So uh, we vanquished him, get his humanity, and that uh, you get the notched whip, that's the whip he was using. It's it's actually, I think it's the only usable whip, because it's the only whip that causes bleed. There's only three whips and they all kind of suck. So uh, yeah. There's another item over here, uh, large proud knight soul, I want to watch this blood stain. I really do. Fighting King Jeremiah maybe? Oh, I thought he was going to fall. That wasn't very funny. Anyway, once you head back up here, uh, we're gonna head over this way, grab some items. Uh, I do believe, yep, there's a humanity here, so uh, we have a bunch of humanity now. I'm gonna pop a few humanity, I think, or just one or two, just get my item find up a little bit. I just like finding items, no particular reason. So, uh, there's another item over here. I do think this is, uh, yeah, it's a Ring of Sacrifice. That could be useful. Uh, they're always useful, you know. If you need to go somewhere where you think you're going to die, you need to grab something quickly. Uh, so, actually, I'm going to stay over here. And uh, run over here to, uh, there's a ladder. And uh, go down the ladder. And uh, you'll be in these uh, sub kind of catacombs. And uh, <laughs> I might die here. I hate this part. Um... Come up here, keep your shield right. If you look around the corner, can't see it, but oh yes you can. There is hell. That's a bone wheel skeleton of doom. There's bone wheels down here, and uh they are higher level bone wheels, like they do more damage. Holy fuck. But yeah, catacombs is a lower level area than this, so these two are more deadly bone wheels. Die. Oh they die from one weak attacker. So, uh, good thing, that's one down. There's many more down here, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna break this, this illusory wall. Pretty much all the walls that look out of place are, are like, look out of place around here, so they're all illusory walls. Let's see, there's another one. Did he not see me or something? That was really weird. You know, if you were the partisan, you wouldn't bounce off the wall. I should pull out my partisan for this, but I haven't upgraded it. So yeah, obviously a weapon that uh, pokes or something is much better than this. Uh, grab this as the annex key, we're going to need this for after, so uh, make sure you grab the annex key if you grab anything down here. Because uh, coming down here can be scary because of all the bone wheels. Does that lead somewhere we don't want to go? No, that leads somewhere we don't want to go. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get lost here for a minute or so until I find my way, so don't worry. Yeah, this is where we started, so not this way. This way. Alright, yeah, another bone wheel. Alright, so go this way. You just saw how to run here from the beginning. Watch this guy flip into a wall. I'm being lucky, I don't usually flip into a wall like that for me. You can just destroy me. So, head up here, and I uh, do think this is where we are. Yep, there's another toxic guy in a corner. Okay, fuck. Right. Good thing we still have one blooming purple moss left. Where is it? There it is. Alright. 
So you kill him and he drops uh, Pyromancy Fire Surge. It's a pretty cool Pyromancy. Uh, it's like Fire Whip, but it's constant, and you can move while doing it. And you just in a straight line in front of you, so it's kind of cool. You can, you know, surge of fire after people. I don't really use it at all, but I don't know, it's kind of cool, I guess. So uh, we've picked up most of the items down here, but we're going to head to an area that's probably going to lead to my death. Uh, we're going to go through that place I said wasn't the way before. Uh, so let's uh, see how this goes. Yeah, uh -huh. Alright, so yeah, there's like eight bone wheels out there. Like, I know for a fact. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Alright. Yeah, that was, that was scary. So yeah, there's some more out there. Don't worry. Don't you worry. So, grab this. Uh, it's a soul of a brave warrior. Uh, come over here. Turn this. Thank you for invincibility while turning. So that has opened the actual pathway to the boss that isn't the uh, shortcut that I told you guys about. Oh, sorry, I'm a little quiet. I'm just fighting bone wheels. <laughs> These guys are scary. I hate bone wheels so much. I usually avoid them as much as possible. And I don't know. I guess it's good to kill them. I'm getting a lot of XP this playthrough, so... Probably... Oh, no! Right, heal up. Come on, Bonio. I can take you. Alright, he's down. Alright, so we're gonna go back out and try to get that other item over there. I do think there's at least one or two more bone wheels, so... We're not out of the woods yet. he goes. Yep, there's another one. What? Why weren't you staggered? I staggered the other one one hit. That was weird. Yeah, spin away. Spin away. Alright, so I think that's all of them. Uh, they can also drop the bone wheel shield, it's the shield they use. I've only had it drop once on another character and it's pretty funny. So I uh, grab this, just a uh, proud night soul. <clears throat> so if you want to avoid uh, a lot of those, you can just come in here and open that little thing and leave the other way, but uh, I decided not to. So once you clear out those, you can uh, run over here and come up here. And uh, you'll come up into a different area. Uh, we are actually in that area. It's uh, up on the side of uh, this is where those where the phalanxes are right there. So uh, we're up this little air area. So uh, we're gonna explore up here. There's a hollow over here. I do think more pop up on the side. Yeah, a bunch more. Take them out. And uh, grabbing the Proud Night Soul, we're going to have a lot of soul items to pop after this, and uh, smack this. So uh, another item that falls down you can grab. And uh, I'm not sure if we've explored everywhere up here, I think so. I'm trying to make sure I don't want to miss something by accident. Yeah, that's always there. So uh, we're going to go grab that item real fast that we knocked down. It's over here. I think. Or not. But I do think there is an item I actually missed over here. Uh, so if you come over here, past these pikes, uh, go past this wall, and uh, what is this? Uh, pyromancy. Yeah, the Acid Surge Pyromancy. 
Uh, this depletes enemy durability, so it's uh, pretty fun to use, I guess. It's not very useful, it doesn't do much. So, uh, I don't know. If that's your thing, go ahead, but it's not that good. Um, don't remember where that item fell down at. It might be over here. Well, it should be over there, logically. That's where I knocked it down, literally. That's right. There, right? Oh, I know where it knocked down. Never mind. And, uh, that humanity we grabbed over there before, that was, uh, I believe one we knocked down earlier. Yeah, it was. So, I uh, head on back out here. Uh, we're actually going to... No, I'm not going to hit the bonfire yet. Uh, come out here, and this is where I knocked it down. You can see it's on the other side of the wall. And, uh, it's a humanity also, so... Picking up some humanity. Uh, go in here and uh, we're gonna use that annex key that we got uh, come in here and uh, you can actually need the annex key so if you have the master key it won't work in here you can see that guy couldn't open it I had to leave so I walk up here use the annex key so uh, if you guys didn't know where I just came from for some reason uh, it's straight beside the phalanxes on the other side uh, go on up here And that uh, will be another area that we couldn't reach before. Uh, you can see there is one of those uh, crazy poison dudes. I'm going to try to kill him without getting toxified this time. So I'm going to roll away from him, hopefully not get toxified. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, you guys heard that. There's harpies up here, so... See what I can do about that. Maybe I can cheese them or something. I do think that's their grab attack, and yeah, it's a jumping grab, so they jump on you and grab you. Alright, so it's down. I think there's more. Yeah, there's one more. There might be more, actually, that fly down, I don't know. Alright, so. Easy enough if you can stagger them around, but uh, not. But pick up Miracle of How of Silence. What this does is uh, makes all enemies, uh, including players around you, in like a five yard radius or something, they can't cast. So it's kind of useful if people can't cast spells in your face. Uh, head on down here uh, and grab this item. This is, this, uh, this is the uh, Mask of Velka and the Black Cleric set. Uh, this is the set that uh, Oswald of Kareem wears, the uh, guy who forgives your sins and uh, resets NPC hostility. So if you want to look like him, you can come pick this up and uh, look like him now. I don't think this way leads anywhere. No. So uh, we're going to go back up here and uh, don't fall in there, but we're going to head back uh, down this way. And uh, you're going to see this uh, kind of boarded up area. This is smashable. So smash it. And you'll pick up Velka's rapier. This is the weapon that he uses. It's a pretty cool rapier. I do think it scales with uh, intellect or something like that. I'm not sure. I've never used it or the Black Cleric set, but uh, you can look like Oswald if you want to, so pretty cool. So head on here. There's uh, some more fire dudes, so uh, i try to bait this guy away from the other one. Alright, so you can kill one running attack, that's good. Alright, so uh, you'll see another hunched over blacksmith. So uh, grab it, and you'll see this is the Dark Ember. Uh, this is the Ember that upgrades plus five divine weapons into occult weapons. So uh, this is the other thing you can use white chunks and white slabs for. So uh, yeah, you can make occult weapons. Uh, occult weapons do extra damage to uh, the servants of the gods and the gods. So that would be uh, Silver Knights, Royal Sentinels, I think. Uh, all the god type bosses, so Dark Sun, Gwendolyn, uh, the other boss type gods, uh, or, yeah, god type bosses. Uh, not sure what else. There's a anything that's considered a servant of the gods is uh, takes uh, Ornstein and Smo are considered a servants of the gods, so they take extra damage. So uh, we're gonna go back down here. 
Actually, we're not. Uh, uh, we're going to take a shortcut. Uh, this way. Which way? This way. Oh, I do think there's an item we actually missed down here. Yeah, there is. I do remember now which one we missed down here, so it's a good thing I came down here. Lucerne, you're so awesome against bosses, but other than that, not the best. Not the best. Back right here, there's more bats. Slaying more rats. No humanities for us, though. And now uh, there's an item, some items you can grab over there, so uh, you can just run and jump, I believe. Yeah. Uh, grab a gold coin. You can feed these to Fran for souls. I uh, never got around to doing that, so I'll do that off screen later. Shit, I just fell down. So I uh, may have missed it up there, but there is a ladder we can take that leads up, obviously, so. There we go. Here it is. So it'll fall down in uh, an area we couldn't reach before. It's kind of, I'm not really sure exactly where we are, but uh, it works. Uh, you come over here, uh, you can fall down there. I think we have to go down there actually also, but we also have to go this way, I think. Uh, we have a bunch of ways to go. Uh, I think this is the more important way to go. The more important item is this way. I a little confused myself, I don't usually, usually when I come to the, there's just so many items in here, usually when I come here I don't get every single one. So, uh, yeah, that was actually the same way. Never mind. So, uh, and up here, this guy will come up here. Kick him for no reason. And uh, if you come up here, uh, we'll, we're on the other side of the, uh, if you look down there, that's where the poison guys was when there was a bunch of them in the room. Now uh, grab here and we'll grab a Brave Warrior Soul. So this is the item that was across the rafters that we couldn't grab. So we can just roll back down here. Uh, there's an item I'm trying to think where it is right now. Actually, I'm having trouble. I don't remember where it is. Um, yeah, I knew where it was. Now. So uh, roll down here once you come down there. And uh, it'll be on this little plateau. Uh, Alright, so we've been invaded by another person. Uh, I'll try to get what's done before we PvP here. Uh, we'll get another Brave Warrior Soul here. I'll mess this up. It might be hard for him to find us, to be honest. I mean, we are kind of in a far off area. And a lot of people don't know this place very well. So, uh, roll down here, you'll live the fall. Should have saved Mastis till I rolled down. And, uh, I come in here already? No, I just missed the chest. So uh, there's a chest in this room. I did miss it. And uh, I grabbed the uh, Painting Guardian set. This is what I was looking for. Uh, this is the, rope, the gear of the Painting Guardians, obviously. So uh, you can you know, flip around looking like them. It's pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, I've never really used it, but I guess it's okay. This kind of sucks using this here for PvP, to be honest, but uh, I'll try to make do. That's probably why I should upgrade my Partisan. I mean, it might be hard for this guy to even find it. Oh, there he is. Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. I'll just wave at him. Okay, well, he's using the uh, demon machete, the same weapon the Capper demon uses. We're probably going to lose. I'm not retarded, but... Come on. Yeah, down. So, uh, I'd rather fight him down there anyway. So yeah, that weapon's super easy to backstab. I 
really know what he's gonna do because that weapon only really has one attack. Oh shit. But uh, that actually didn't work because I backstabbed him at the same time, so it didn't work at all. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we both did it at the same time again, so no damage. Oh shit, that was different though. That time he got me. Alright, so yep, yeah, there's Dark Souls PvP in a nutshell. Two people backstab fishing until the end of time. <laughs> so uh, I will meet you guys back here. Alright, we're back on my bloodstain. I didn't kill anything though, I just kind of ran in my bloodstain. I was thinking over here, I don't know, did that guy have modded health? Because I backstabbed him a lot, and he didn't die. And it, like, I don't know, 404 damage didn't seem to be a lot of his health. I don't know, maybe I'm just, I don't know. He could have been modding. I might do, when I look over the video, I'll do the calculations and see. But, uh, anyway. So, uh, once you grab your health, uh, your blood stand, I mean, or that probably won't happen to you, so. I'm gonna try to get past these guys, so, oh, Jesus. So, uh, come down here. I'm gonna top off my health. Uh, you saw where I came from. It's near the, uh, dragon. And, uh, roll down here. Don't think those guys will follow me down. Stand corrected. So, I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh, no shit. It's a double battle here. Oh, it seems familiar. I was just here last week on my Painted World event. Alright, so I'm toxic again, kinda sucks ass. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Divine Blessing to cure it. I don't mind using it. Uh, Divine Blessing, you might use this for something more useful, like, you know, you're about to die on a boss and you need, you know, something that's gonna heal you to full in one shot that's super fast, but, uh, see how fast the Divine Blessing is? It just heals you right to max health like that, so, uh, if you get a few of them, the only way to get more of them, like I said, is to purchase them from Rhea, or, uh, I think you can get them from the Forest Hunter Covenant, but I'm not sure. So, uh, head back up here. I uh, just had to go in there to, you know, kill those guys, of course. Shit. And uh, we're going to head on up to the top of this little uh, spiral pillar. So, uh, come in here. Uh, that's where I drop down, so just go up from there if you don't drop down. Uh, and go up this... Spiral staircase, and I have to fight one of these assholes. I think there's a couple more. Or actually, I think the one of them we fought was the one that fell down, so I think we're fine. Yeah, there we are. I was mistaken. So fighting them locked here can actually be dangerous, because when they fly up, uh, they can kill you. But uh, you can usually be fine. The crows are fine, and the crows won't attack you, don't worry and uh, grab an item, and this is the Red Sign Soapstone. Uh, this is those red signs you've been seeing on the ground when people uh, want to summon to be dueled, so you can now put that down and uh, be summoned to duel someone. So, uh, there's an item down there, so uh, just drop down here, you won't take any damage. And uh, grab a Brave Warrior Soul. And uh, just roll down here. And uh, don't miss the stairs there like I did. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, you can not miss the stairs. Uh, and then come down here, and then roll off here. And uh, that's the door that opened when we turned that statue. And uh, we're going to head through there now. So it's a <clears throat> long winding hallway. Uh, not really winding, just long, ominous hallway. So uh, you can dodge these arrows and just play around with these guys. Uh, I don't know how that arrow hit me, but okay. Anyway, uh, kill them. Not very difficult. Uh, run up and kill this guy as quickly as possible. And then turn around, because uh, a bunch of hollows will come up and jump you. You can see there's five hollows now. There's usually four. I don't know why there's five there. Anyway. Yeah. Not do that attack. 
Okay, so I forgot. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. Holy fuck. Okay, so I forgot to mention up ahead a little bit, there's a heavy knight that falls down from the top. So don't go that far forward or that can happen. And that was the most terrifying thing that happened all day. So come on. We're going to try to make these hollows go away before we take him on. So this one's a little bit different. He has a great sword, which is a little bit faster. There we got damage on him at least, dude. Oh shit. They don't stagger as much though. Shit. Definitely is faster. Alright, take them up, uh, just make sure they don't Estus because if you leave them be the Estus. So uh, grab this, we get a uh, great sword, which is his weapon. Uh, we have one of these already from uh, Iron Tarkus's body. Well. It's theorized that uh, the body containing the black iron set is Iron Tarkus's because you pick up all his gear. So yeah. Uh, and a large Titanite shard. Really useful. I think I can upgrade my helmet to plus six now. So I uh, head on down here. Normally the Heavy Knight drops down from right up there, but I got too close to here and he fell down while I was fighting the Hollows. So yeah. Uh, and uh, we're gonna head on through the fog gate over there. Uh, make sure you've done everything because uh, this will make you leave the painted world. And if you want to come back, you have to leave it the same way. So it kind of sucks. So when you come inside, uh, don't attack. Just uh, run up to this character here and talk to her. See, she's friendly. She won't actually attack you, right now at least. Uh, so yeah, just uh, walk up and talk to her. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world. Plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Um, you can leave and go down that platform, uh, you know. But uh, there's no point. You, you know, you don't have to kill her, but we're going to kill her. I mean, she drops stuff and she's a boss, so we're going to kill her. So I uh, just go up and give her a smack. I uh, the way this boss fight works is that she disappears and she is invisible through the whole fight. The only way to tell where she is is to watch her footprints. Um, she also wields that giant scythe you saw her wielding. Uh, it is an extremely dangerous weapon. You can see it almost bled me in one hit. Uh, that bleed is actually more dangerous than other bleeds. It rips off 50% rather than 30%. So uh, you can see here I was trying to look for the uh, blood red moss clumps to reduce my bleed buildup because uh, pretty much any hit right now will bleed me. So I'm trying to look for her footsteps that are over there, and I keep trying to get running attacks off on her, but uh, she keeps moving, so misjudging where she is, it's not always easy to hit her. Uh, see, I haven't even hit her yet. Uh, basically what you're trying to do is hit her and then stagger her out of the invisibility, and then you can hit her, you can lock onto her. Uh, so be very careful, uh, she can obviously still hit you when she's invisible, and you saw how much damage that scythe did and how much bleed it did, so be very careful. Um, she doesn't have an insane amount of health though, so once she does become visible, the fight is not very hard. It's actually very easy. This is basically the whole fight. So yeah, she's visible. There she is. And now you can see how fast her health is going down. Her attacks have huge delays after them and they don't track very well. Pretty much, you can see there, they just whiff. And uh, yeah, she goes down quite easily. Goodbye, Crossbeat Priscilla. And now uh, we get the soul of Priscilla, which is of course her soul. And uh, it can be used to make the scythe that she is using. The life hunt scythe, that's what it's called. And uh, twin humanities, of course. And a nice amount of souls. So, uh, head over here to this uh, little pathway. Um, if you killed Xanthus King Jeremiah and gone through a loading screen, his uh, armor set will be right here. This is the uh, Xanthus set. As you can see, it has that giant bumblebee hat. Uh, so, pretty cool armor set. But other than that, uh, walk over to this cutscene. Alright, so when you get back to Anderlando, you will uh, pick up a Homer Bone automatically, and uh, all these guys will respawn. I'm not sure if that happens if you, well obviously if you tag the bonfire they respawn, so what am I saying? So uh, we're going to Homer Bone, 
as it suggests. Uh, you might think not to because it'll be like, oh, it just takes me back to the painted world, but no, uh, this will take you back to the Anor Londo bonfire, the first one with the firekeeper. So, um, another thing I forgot to mention. Um, when you aggro Dark Sun Gwendolyn, uh, you will make the firekeeper here angry, as you can see. <laughs> so, um, she will try to kill you now. Uh, I do think you can reset her hostility by going and speaking to uh, Oswald of Kareem. Uh, if you kill her, you will get her uh, Firekeeper soul, which you can use to upgrade your flask. I don't want to kill her. I'll probably kill her eventually for her soul, but uh, not now. I want to keep that fire active at least for the next little while. So I'm going to try to get her like away from the fire and then go hit the fire because she fat rolls. So. That's not happening while well, she's uh, aggroed. So I lost this bonfire. Should I might as well just kill her, right? Should I just kill her? I don't know. But how? Because you suck. Is a threat. Alright, so unfortunately, well, uh, we got a firekeeper soul, so I'll go upgrade my flask after, but uh, yeah, we don't get that fire anymore. Kind of sucks. We have to go to the Dark Moon tomb to warp from here now, or back to Sen's fortress. So uh, I'm going to call the episode here. I'll do that off screen. So uh, we got a bunch done today, so I'll see you guys next time.